everyone, today we are filming a full face of Mecca's highest rated beauty products. This video is not sponsored or anything. These products mostly were gifted. I already owned a few of them. So we are just going to apply each product to our face and see if I think they deserve the spot of top rated on Mecca's website. I've already done some videos like this on Mecca, Ulta, um, Sephora, I don't know, I've, I'll link them all below. I've done quite a few of them, top rated, lowest rated, worst, best, you know, stuff like that. So make sure you check the down bar after you watch this video. There is a lot of NARS in here and some Hourglass, Urban Decay, some Too Faced, so let's dive in. The top rated primer on the Mecca website is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is oil free um, and it is also SPF 15. So perfect for the daytime. This is what the packaging looks like. It's really a luxe packaging. It's like in a glass bottle and it does have a pump also. I'm sure I used to have this but I'm sure it looked a little bit different. I don't know. Was it always SPF? I can't remember. So this is the texture. It's kind of like a moisturizer consistency. It's actually quite runny. It's not super thick or anything like that which I do like because I prefer a thinner texture on my face before foundation just because I feel like it soaks in nicer and it usually hydrates a bit better because I have more like dull dehydrated skin rather than oily skin. I'm also going to put it down my neck just for some extra SPF protection. The texture of this is really really buzzy. It's kind of like pore filling except hydrating like it's not super super slippery or anything like that. It doesn't feel super uncomfortable on the skin it's quite lightweight. The finish is quite nice though, like it gives a nice soft glow. Is it my all-time favorite on Mika's website? Probably not. I do like something a little bit more hydrating, like this is hydrating feeling but it's not like ridiculously thirst quenching, you know like Too Faced Hangover or something like that. They also have that on the website but I can see why a lot of people do like it, if you know what I mean. It's just not my personal favorite. For the top rated concealer we have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer which actually used to be my holy grail. My current favorite is actually their Complete Concealer by NARS which you can also get off Mecca which is this little like tub one. This is my probably all-time favorite concealer at the moment. The best-selling NARS one, yeah, this used to be my holy grail back in the day. I always used the shade Custard. Wait, that's an eyeshadow base? I'm gonna mind. Okay, this, here we go, concealer. So I have two shades right here. I've got a shade for under my eyes and also for the face area. Although I've got no fake tan on today, so I think I'll mainly use the lighter shade, which is called Vanilla. And I'm doing my concealer now just around my eyebrows because it's like a new technique I've been doing. I prefer just to like line outside of my eyebrows to make them look more full and then I don't need as much brow product. So this is what the product looks like. This is definitely an amazing concealer. I really, really do recommend it. I'm actually very excited to have it back in my collection because I did run out of it. The shade I use when I've got a bit of fake tan on is Custard, by the way. This one here is vanilla. So I'm going to use the little doe foot applicator and just kind of apply some of this around the outside of my eyebrows. This concealer is super creamy. It's quite hydrating. It doesn't seem to like dry out my under eye area. Now let's just take a little eyeshadow brush or something similar concealer brush and just blend that out. Yeah, this definitely still deserves to be very high on the best seller list or top rated. I get so confused. Top rated list. It's so easy to blend and the coverage is really nice and it's very comfortable on the skin as well. The color range is amazing as well. Like I love NARS undertones. They just seem to match my skin tone very, very well. So it is honestly no surprise to me that the top rated foundation on Mecca is my old holy grail. The NARS Sheer Glow. This is a little bit too dark for me so I will be lightening it a little bit because I've only got the shade Punjab which is what I wear when I've got like fake tan on and currently I have zero fake tan on. It comes in 39 different shades. This is definitely an amazing foundation. Like I said it was my holy grail for so long for so many years and it's only just recently been overtaken by the NARS Natural Radiance Foundation. I like that one a little bit more but this one is still amazing. So I'm going to apply this just all over my skin now to even out my complexion. So what I've done is I've just used some Ulta, uh, Ulta 3 lightening shade adjusting drops just to lighten up the color a little bit <clears throat> without really altering the formula. I love this foundation. Um, it goes on so beautifully. The coverage is really nice. The finish is really nice and it's not drying or anything like that. Like my mom also really likes this one. I gifted it to her for an event recently and she really liked it. I'm also just going to bring it down my neck a little bit because I think it's still a little bit too dark but we'll work with it. And then I'm just going to use a sponge to blend this all out. Honestly you guys, if you've been a watcher of my YouTube channel for a long time now you guys know 
I was obsessed with this foundation for so long. This is the first time I've used it again in a very long time because I've been, you know, trying out different brands and trying out the Natural Radiant or being obsessed with the Natural Radiant by NARS, but yeah, this one is still amazing. I feel like it's just one of those foundations that always looks good and it doesn't matter what my skin's doing, like it just cooperates. Actually, that color looks pretty good. So now I'm just gonna go back in with my concealer in the shade of vanilla and just conceal under my eyes this time. You can see the foundation already did a pretty good job, but I just want some extra coverage, making sure to get right in those inner corners as well where you get super dark. I'm also gonna apply a little bit extra just over my breakouts. Yeah, I honestly, I missed this. I'm so happy this is back in my life. It's so beautiful under the eyes. It's just so smooth. Like it looks flawless. Can you see that? It's just, blah. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. <laughs> I also put it like in my waterline, which is really creepy, but it just helps to conceal the redness to my eyes and make me look less tired and sick, which is great. So the top rated pressed powder, which is my preference, usually I prefer a pressed powder to a loose powder. It's the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder Pressed in Translucent Crystal. And usually I don't go translucent, so this is something a little bit different for me. So I guess it's supposed to be a little bit of a glowy kind of formula. It says light reflecting, so I'm assuming that just means it's not super matte. <laughs> this is what the powder looks like. It's just a translucent powder. So I'm just going to use it on a big powder brush and just apply that all over my face. Oh yeah, it really has like a shine to it almost, like a sheen, sheeny shine. So I'm just going to stamp that all over my face just on top of the foundation to set it. I like to set it all over my face. I have to say this powder feels very lightweight. So like I can't even feel it on my skin whatsoever. It feels really, really good in that aspect and it doesn't make my skin look super dusty or dry or anything like that. I don't know if I'm converted to translucent powder because I do like more coverage and that's why I usually use like a powder foundation on top. It doesn't look too bad. I'm surprised that that is the highest rated powder on the website. I don't know what I would have expected. Yeah, I don't really use any of the other brands on Mecca that have pressed powder. Oh, they've got MAC now. Yeah, I use MAC usually, MAC Studio FX. Okay, the top rated bronzer is the NARS bronzing powder. NARS is really taking it out for top rated products on Mecca. I do love NARS though. You guys know I've always been a huge fan of NARS products. And this bronzer was actually one of my first holy grail high-end bronzers when I started using makeup and was, you know, starting out YouTube and everything. I remember like a couple of years into my YouTube journey, my Nana went to America and she asked what I wanted for my birthday. And I said, Laguna bronzer by NARS because all of the other YouTube gurus used to like rave about it. It is just a really nice, rich, oh my gosh, I can't get the, Thing out. It's just a really nice, rich, warm bronzer. It's a very, very beautiful bronzer. I haven't actually used this in many years because I've got so many other favorites now, but I can totally see why it is the top rated on Mecca. It's definitely one of those like cult favorite products. So I'm just gonna use it on a really nice big brush and it looks scary at first, but it's so easy to blend. So I'm just applying that like on my actual cheeks and I'm also gonna put it up onto my temples. And I like to put some on my nose as well. Yep, this is still a beautiful bronzer. I can't believe like how long it's been since I've used this. Like so many of these products are turning out to be my old favorite products. I remember back in the day when I used to contour with this too, which you know, is pretty much a no-no now because it is very warm. I'm still just applying it like on that cheek and that's gonna give me shape regardless without even like doing a proper contour. For our top rated blush, it is NARS blushes again. So I had to pick a color. I actually already own like a ton of these because I do love them. Everyone knows about orgasm, like that is the cult favorite, but I picked up Lovejoy just because I wanted something a little bit different. It is the most beautiful kind of like burnt, orangey, peachy, pinky color. I can't really describe it. It's very unique and I don't really have anything else like it. I'm gonna use the same brush and just apply some to my cheek. And I feel like this is such a flattering color that'll look really nice on so many different skin tones as well. You just have to be a little bit less heavy handed if you are a bit fairer. It's a really nice glow to it as well. Like it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. So it just perks up your skin. These definitely deserve to be on top rated because NARS blushes, one, are amazing quality and two, there's a jillion different colors. No matter what color you were looking for, you will find one. I remember when I was visiting my first like, what was it, was it a Mecca? I can't remember, but I remember like visiting a NARS countertop, you know, with all the different colors and everything and just being like, amazed. Like, I didn't know what to do with myself. There were so many different shades. 
um, and I've actually like decluttered my collection a lot since then. I used to own like, I swear, maybe like 20 different shades of NARS blushes. Like on the Mecca website, there are 28 different shades. Like it's crazy. Anyway, moving along. I think our next product is not NARS. The top rated highlighter is actually Hourglass and I do really love Hourglass products more so the bronzer you guys know Hourglass bronzer it's like one of my holy grails but I don't really use the highlighters a lot so it looks like this the color I have chosen is called luminous light and it is a kind of skin tone color like champagne -y skin tone I don't really know how to describe it these are very natural they're not like a blinding highlight like what a lot of people are used to on Instagram and YouTube which actually you to be one of the reasons I wasn't blown away by these powders but I do really like a natural glow these days and I don't know for the past couple years also so I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbone you can also use these all over your face as like a finisher so I might actually just apply a little bit all over once I have concentrated the product just on my cheekbone yeah it is really pretty it's just giving a really natural like lit from within glow it's actually very similar to the EXO Beauty one so there you go like that whole formula the color, everything. I'm just gonna take a big powder brush, once I defluff it, I'm just gonna apply a little bit just all over as well, just to give my skin a radiant finish. So pretty, okay. I'm probably gonna wear this to my engagement party. I love it just all over. So next up, before we continue with our eye makeup, I'm just going to spritz some setting spray to soak up any excess powders and make sure that my base lasts all day and night. I'm sure you guys will be able to guess what the top rated setting spray is. I'm assuming it's one that I use all the time in my videos. It is the Urban Decay Long Lasting Setting Spray. One of my all time favorites. It's amazing. It lasts so long. It's so worth the money. It makes your makeup last so well. Like it really works. So I highly recommend this. You can get like different finishes and types as well. But I honestly think the original one's probably the best one to go for. Every time I go overseas, I travel with this. I actually have like a little mini one that you can see right. Actually, I might as well use my mini one finish it up. Yeah, it's like perfect for travel. The big one is as big as the box, so it's like a little baby one. I think, yeah, you can get this on Mecca as well, this size, so that's handy. I spray a lot, and then I just let it soak in by itself. I don't mess with it, I don't touch it. I literally just like fan it in, and you can see it just helps to like give my skin a bit more of a glow back, like a natural finish, rather than looking too matte or too anything else. Okay, so for eyebrows, for the eyebrow pencil, the top rated one on Mecca is the Precision Brow Pencil by Kevin Kwan. I've never tried this, um, so I'm actually very excited to try something new. It comes in three different shades, and it's rated super high, like five out of five stars. Oh, it's so little. I thought it would be bigger, but it looks like this. It's got the like typical Kevin and Kwan packaging. And, oh, okay. I was trying to pull the lid off. You just twist it. There's no cap. I'm so confused. Okay, yeah, okay. Just twist it and it comes out the top. And the shade I went for is Brunette because I do like a little bit of a darker brow. So I'm literally just gonna like fill in these like sparse areas just on the top of my eyebrows and maybe like the beginning a little bit. I don't need much because of that concealer that we used at the very start it's already like filled my eyebrows in pretty well we just want to like fill in the gaps so they look a little bit more you know nice okay this is going on real nice I, you know it's hard when you're trying an eyebrow pencil like what makes an eyebrow pencil good in my opinion it needs to be quite stiff so you can get a really nice natural finish if it's too soft you can get a very goopy like i don't know messy thick look and i'm really digging a more natural brow these days rather than a very heavy block brow like we've been seeing all over Instagram you know the previous few years like I'm glad that that trend is over even though I used to do it too and I thought it looked so good but I really do prefer just like I don't know hairy looking eyebrows now not like block vivid eyebrows this is definitely getting the job done and I really like the color as well okay I actually really like that that's a good one I don't know what I was expecting for the top rated like I thought it would be Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wears or something like that but it's not it's this there you go. And then we have an eyebrow gel. I nine times out of 10 always follow up on my eyebrows with an eyebrow gel just to set my eyebrow hairs in place. Otherwise they go haywire. The top rated is the Bobbi Brown Natural Brow Shaper. Comes in four different shades. I got the shade Brunette once again, and this is how the packaging looks. It's just nice sleek black packaging. And then this is the part that matters, the brush. It is actually 
It's like short, but it's quite thick. Like it's quite a big brush. So let's see how it goes. I'm just gonna apply a very light handed amount on it to my eyebrow hairs just to define the hairs again. And it's really nice to do this after you do all your powders and everything so that if you did get any loose powders stuck in your eyebrows, it just helps to kind of clean them up a little bit and make them more defined. It's doing a good job of like sticking them down. So the color's really nice too. It actually looks really, really, really good close up. You see that? Like you can see every brow here is just like super defined. That can stay in my collection as well. This is going very well so far. The only thing is the concealer is creasing ever so slightly. So I'm just pressing some extra like setting powder into it. It is such a creamy formula. So you do need to make sure you set it really, really well. And I have not set it well enough. Okay, for my eye primer, we're back to NARS again. I have actually tried this and it is good, but usually I use a skin tone color. For this video, we're gonna switch up and try something new. This is in the shade medium dark. It comes in a few different shades. It looks like this. It comes in a white packaging. It's got a kind of color indicator on the side. And then if you open it up, it's on a doe foot applicator. So that's the color. You can see it's tinted. So this is actually gonna give me like an instant kind of eye look as well and a good base for a neutral eyeshadow look. You can wear it alone or you can pack eyeshadow on top of it like you know, it's intended to be used that way. So I'm just smacking that on there like that. And then I'm going to just take a little brush and blend this out. I'm just kind of bringing it up past the crease. And as you guys already know, eye primer is just really good to help make your eyeshadow color pop and stick and last all day. And it's really nice because also, obviously if you're a deeper skin tone to me, this will be a more like skin, well you'll be able to find a more skin tone color for your complexion. Because a lot of brands that do skin tone primers, which are really nice because they have to conceal, a lot of the time they are just like pale. So NARS does some for deeper skin tones if you want to just match it to your own skin tone. So that's how it looks. It's quite sticky, which is good because it really sticks that eyeshadow on. For eyeshadows, I was kind of not really surprised, a little bit surprised. This is not one of my personal like all-time favorite palettes, but it is one I like. I don't know what I expected to be at the top rated. I thought maybe like Urban Decay Naked or something by Anastasia Beverly Hills or something like that. But this does make sense because so many people love this palette. It is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which like I said, I do like it. I don't know, I was just surprised. The inside looks like a chocolate bar. It's such cool packaging. You guys have probably seen me use this on my channel before because it's not new to me. This is a new palette though. But yeah, it looks like this. You can see some of the colors a little bit better. There is like a pop of purple. You have some really neutral tones, like the perfect colors just for an everyday look. You can go really natural, you can go dramatic. It's all up to you with this palette. It's got all the colors you need just for like neutrals, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna start with the shade Salted Caramel, which is a nice warm crease color. And I'm just going to pop that into the crease. This actually matches the eye primer quite perfectly. I'm not doing anything super dramatic today. I've just gotta go run some errands today, like do my nails and grab some stuff so I don't want to go too crazy on the makeup. This is such a nice neutral as well if you do have any like green or hazel or brown eyes because it'll just help to really brighten them up. Like the undertone of this is quite orangey. It's so beautiful. And I'm also going to take the exact same color and just sweep that underneath my eyes. I feel like the blush color we did today as well, like any eye look would go with that. So, you know, we do have free reign. I just want to keep it very simple. I'm going to go back in with my eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use the gold shade, which is called Creme Brulee. It's so nice. It's a very dark gold, which I really like. It's very wearable. It's almost like a bronzy gold, you know? I'm just going to pat that on the eyelid and you can see how beautifully that's bouncing on that eye base as well like it's just really reflecting the shimmer so nicely it's very very pigmented love that and then on the outer corner i'm going to take a little bit of the shade triple fudge which is the super super dark fudgy brown and i'm just going to apply that using a small blender brush onto the outer corner and just start to bring that in to the gold. I'm also gonna run a little bit of this just on the outer corner underneath just to define my eyes. And then going back in with my blender brush, I'm just going to soften the edges. Now let's jump into eyeliner and I wasn't really surprised about the best-selling eyeliner. I just put on some lip balm so I don't mind that. My lips are literally as dry as the desert right now. <laughs> They're so bad. The top rated on Mecca liquid eyeliner is the Estela Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I got a couple different shades. I got black and I also got Midnight, which is like a blue and I'm very tempted to try Midnight because I just think it would be really pretty in 
a little bit fun. So maybe we'll try Midnight. I already have used black on my channel a few times. I actually only recently discovered this liquid eyeliner, but it has been a bestseller like all around the world for so many years. So I don't know why like I never really used it, but I do really like it. It is very good. It comes in five different shades as well, which is very fun. So let's go in with Midnight. You can see the actual packaging is like a midnight blue as well, which is cool. And then the brush tip is very, very fine and it's quite flexible, which is important to me. Otherwise I suck. I can't do stiff eyeliners. I don't know if I can do this on camera. So I'm just doing a few strokes to do a nice wing. And I don't know if you can see, but it goes on so quickly and so pigmented. I don't have to like sit there layering it up or anything, which is really good. I'm a huge fan of this color too, because it's such a dark blue. It doesn't look scary. It doesn't look tacky. It just looks really, really pretty. I think it's so nice. And it's really easy to be able to do a very thin eyeliner with this pen applicator. I do really like this eyeliner and I love that color. I think if you're looking for something just to switch up your everyday makeup routine, switching to a color like this instead of black is so much fun. It's actually a little bit less harsh. Kind of looks like black at first, but then you look closer and it's just got this beautiful blue undertone. The top rated mascara is no surprise to me because it's one of my all-time favorites as well. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This one here is actually a limited edition packaging. The normal one's just the pink, but like look how cute mine is. I'm pretty sure like Too Faced does special edition packaging every now and again, so make sure you check an eye, check, check an eye. Keep an eye out on Mecca or wherever you buy Too Faced because they do some really cute packaging. So the brush looks like this. I'm a huge fan. I know it looks like a torture device, but it's actually very comfortable to use and it coats lashes so quickly, which I love. I love mascaras that work quick. I don't like to mess around with them for too long. So I'll do one eye and show you a little before and after. Okay, so here's one coat. Can you see the difference? Like I'm sure you can, like right? Yeah, it's a pretty huge difference. I love it. I love the formula of this. It is so comfortable for me. It's not too liquidy, not too thick. It's like the most perfect moussey in between texture. It's just like my favorite type of texture of mascara, you know? Gives me the length, gives me the volume, and it's very, very black. I find some mascaras are black, but they're not like pitch black. I want pitch black. Black is my soul. Just joking. I've got a little bit of pink and glitter in my soul also. I'm also going to apply this on my bottom lashes. The top rated lashes on the website are the en Enhancing, I was going to say Enchanting, I can't read. Enhancing Lashes by Mecca Cosmetica. This is how they look. They're just nice full lashes. They're not too long either. They're more of a natural length. So I'm going to trim these and apply these to my eyes. So here is my before and here is the after. So these ones just give you like a lot of volume. If you've got like hooded eyes or small eyes, they'll be good as well if you do want something long for you. But for me, they kind of match. So they just give like heaps of volume. These are like what I would call a good everyday lash for someone like me. Depends on your style, I guess. Top rated lip pencil does not surprise me. It's one of my favorite brands of lip pencils as well. Urban Decay. These are the 24 seven glide on lip pencils. They come in 18 different shades. And this one here that I've picked up is called Broken. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lips just to line them and define them. I love this color. It's so gorgeous. It's just like a my lips but better nude kind of color. And the formula is amazing. Like they definitely do deserve to be top sellers. They're really good. If you haven't tried them, you need to try them. Same with their 24 seven pencil eyeliners as well. Like they're one of my favorite brands of eyeliner. This next one did surprise me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, the top rated lipstick. I've just gone for a bullet lipstick style rather than a liquid lipstick. So I just love bullet lipsticks. The top rated lipstick is just the NARS in the traditional kind of bullet. They also have the Audacious range, which I thought would be more popular than the original one, but there you go. These come in three or four different shades and the shade I've picked up is Blonde Venus and it's I think will go perfectly with this lip pencil. I don't know what I thought would be top rated like if not the Audacious lipsticks by NARS they actually are like third though so there you go. I don't know like Urban Decay or MAC or something I was surprised like I don't think these are bad at all but I just don't hear anybody talking about them. They're not bad though like I have tried them and I do like them. It's a nice creamy finish, which is perfect because my lips are very dry right now. Beautiful color, beautiful finish, matches perfectly with the lip pencil, so that was good. And I'm just going to finish off with one more spritz of my setting spray. And that is the completed look. Oh, my lashes deciding to fly away somewhere. I don't know where you're going. 
Here's a little close up of the makeup look, just so you can see. I love those eyeshadow colors so much. It's just, yeah, that palette's a good everyday palette, or if you do want just neutrals for nighttime as well, you can just use the darker colors and amp it up. I love, love, love the eyeliner color. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the top rated products. Are they products you would have predicted, or do you think you expected something different? I feel like for a few of them I expected it, and then for a few of them I was a little bit surprised. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. It would really help me out. Don't forget to leave a comment as well. Let me know what video like this you would like to see next. Which store do you want, like Mecca, Sephora, Ulta? I don't know what do you want I was thinking of doing like full face of sale makeup as well like makeup that's on clearance or makeup that's on sale bye